Hunter x Hunter episode 73. I think, I don't know if the deal's still on. I think we might be on our own here. Everything's gone horribly wrong. Who is it? The card game is off. We're still gonna clear the game though. Just, you know, that's the most satisfying thing to do. Or are we? I don't know. Like, Gun and Kula have a track record of just dipping in and out of things as it pleases them. Something else they have in common with Ahsoka. And the stated mission is almost never really the true mission. Here we already got, sort of, what we came for with Jing, which is the information that Jing loves his own DNA. But we're still doing it. Insanity X and X Sanity. Uh, okay. Brace yourselves. This creates a singular point of failure, no? Yeah, something big happened, but Okay. I'm sure all will be revealed. Oh, wow. But if they figure that out, is a singular point of failure. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, good. To so their credit, they came through. Uh huh? Why not get it now? It's a lot of confidence in them. Wow, speaking of confidence. Even with his hands not healed. Watch this whole thing be a gambit in like trusting Gon to have developed what he needed. Yeah, what, what the hell, man? <laughs> After everything we did. Oh. But why the game though? Kokana I didn't expect the tragic flashback to start this episode, but... What? Whoa, that framing, though. That was harsh. He completely was masking all this, it seems. Oh, there it is. Yeah, you can take the cards out of the game, right? He was like posing as a just a you know big fan collector and all that, hiding the true motivation and pain. Explains the depths he was willing to go to though. Yeah, but you kind of threw a lot of people under the bus with that. They did a really good job with. Yeah, there's character making him this irritating. Not all characterization, not all good characterization is pleasant characterization. Speaking of home turf. No. Flat out, there you go. They just made this little canyon their home. That there isn't a giant rock somewhere in a dangerous position. Right. This guy, through what he lacks, is an example of what Hisoka does so well. I mean, this guy, clearly, you just say no to every deal after you see the first deal he makes. His power and influence decreases with exposure to him, whereas Hisoka never really seems to give you a choice. Both Genther and Hisoka are devious, but Hisoka's so good at wearing it on his sleeve 
that you almost feel like you can handle it or see it coming. This guy just gives you that like snake goosebump feeling. This is only tangentially related, but the more I experience it, the more resolute I become in this. Being totally upfront and honest and wearing everything on your sleeve, even the terrible stuff, has a very special kind of magic. It can be really surprising what people will accept and even like, often extremely counterintuitively. If you just feel really confident in the thing and are able to speak about it honestly without any kind of need sleeping through about the other person's response. I think taking a lesson from Ahsoka, the foundation or base is through your own merits, through your own actions, getting the things you most need secure enough, feeling that you have that direct torque over your own life where, well, if I need this, I can just get it. From there, you have this remarkable sort of freedom where you can kind of be or say anything. And like people will actually like it. You'll get more of what you want. Get through, I mean, he's had a good run. He's a smart guy, but like his whole character just reeks of like, his time is limited. It's okay, you don't know. I mean, <laughs> yes, a long time ago. Gon, Klua, Bisky here are also masking the game. I just wasted one. No smart. Oh no, whatever shall we do? We're cornered in this place that we chose. <laughs> so this acting though. I feel like Biscuit could finish them up by herself. She's having fun with the whole thing. Oh, this poor guy. <laughs> he has no idea. Nah. You're about to get rocks that are papered, or just pushed real hard. Don't answer any questions. I don't answer questions. I don't answer questions. I mean, no one's gonna be more aware of your own weakness than somebody with the weakness. Yeah, to, to his credit, he gets away with a lot because he just kills everyone who knows about everything. Yeah, we gotta play by the rules. I hope this plan incorporates knowing that he'll welch on any deal. Thief and a murderer. Yes, sometimes. <laughs> but we love him though. It's the most high stakes mode of Pokemon card clicking there is. Actually, I feel like heard, I heard about some tragic instances that involve Pokemon cards, so I think that used to be a big thing. Well, that got dark. I'm waiting for this plan to end with, and then we hit him with a giant rock. But let's not try that. Everyone learns eventually. Gon can do that. I don't answer questions. They're playing on his overconfidence. Is he deviating from the plan? Oh no, go no! Uh oh. <laughs> You're just making him mad. This guy's just dead. So there'd be no witnesses. <laughs> Oh wow, is, is that what it is? I'm like itching to see her go all out. Yeah! Nice. It's so gratifying. I've been waiting. I was kind of hoping she'd one punch him though. Nah, this too is a ploy. There's no way this guy's as strong as her. Well, that voice acting took a dark turn. Oh, what? Uh-oh. Revert? Our true form? She chose this form. That is 
horrifying. <laughs> Damn, Bitsky's ripped. Those calves. I mean, obviously. Yeah, I mean, that's like half of Nen. Oh, I think you look great. <laughs> but admittedly, very macho. I Stop, he's already dead. <laughs> Slight? I think I underestimated these henchmen. Use double team. Yeah, it's gonna be electricity, right? First time. That stung a little bit. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Yo yo. I feel like we saw this yo yo a long time ago and it like never came back. Can you electrify it? Whoa, that is terrifying. When did he learn this? <laughs> he just had this skill this whole time? It's not even then. <laughs> It's just yo-yo skills. I don't know, some people when fighting, they deliberately leave something exposed as a lure. Yo-yo, you do always come back. <laughs> yeah, it was a lure. Way ahead. I was Demon Slayer-esque. So there'd be no witnesses. Wait, was the Bisky thing actually so there's no witnesses, but like no witnesses of her actual physical appearance? Stop it. Stop it. He's already dead. <laughs> well, that was that was productive. Well, he will die trying. That's what I knew again through lost. Much better chances for him physically. Damn you. <laughs> oh, Gon's got this in the bag. Genther lost when he decided his mission was to defeat Gon's will. Gon's will is undefeatable. Defeat just makes him stronger. This is the kid who, like, wouldn't go down in the Hunter exam despite having plenty of chances to win later just because he was standing on principle. This is the kid who basically learned all of Nen so he could land one hit on Hisoka. Yeah, this is very relevant this episode. What? Oh, it's mother's love. Isn't it also, also Bisky's skill? Isn't that what she was explaining in the previous episode? That she can heal all manner of constipation, etc. Bisky is this, but with a sexy twist. So did Kalua and Bisky mess up by making part of the plan go and having to flee? <laughs> or is this all baked in? I feel like they know him well enough. I'm like waiting on bated breath to see where the giant rock comes into play. I, I really hope Genther just gets smushed.